What's up, everybody? Big Herc, getting down with Fresh Out. and tuned into another edition of Prison Talk. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm here with OG Silverback, and this man has been through a lot. He's a G, and he's very successful. But we want to share these stories with you guys so you guys can see that the game ain't no joke. And, uh, you know, we've been chopping it up off camera, so I want to have him on camera tell you some of the things we talked about. OG Silverback, man, we were just talking about, you know, your background with the military and, yeah. and you know, you know things that you went through in life. You know, what's one of the things you would like to share with our, our viewers? Well, it's very interesting, Big Herc, because um, I want to share this with you guys. In the state prison, when you're in the military, they kind of look at you like the establishment, like you know, you're you're for the government, or you're almost like a police officer. They don't respect. Like, I thought I was gonna go in there like a highly decorated general, like, oh, gee, he was in the military, he's gonna run the whole prison. If it wasn't like that, they looked down on you like. Oh, man, you, you're part of the problem. You're part of the oppressor, right? But the military, man, like going to combat and stuff, it teaches you regimentation. Like in the military, you eat the same meals. It's kind of like prison. You get up at the same time, except maybe you're doing exercise, you're cleaning weapons, you're doing positive things like on a positive, but it's still regimented. Mm -hmm. And prison's very regimented. So I kind of, it kind of, I don't want to say it prepared me for prison, but it helped me to deal with the, the regimentation, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... As far as like the guards and seeing people that when they found out you had had military background, how did that play out? That's a funny question, man. So I didn't know how you was gonna take this. So um, back when I was in, I was in Fort Ord, man. You know the army pays you once a month. You get like five hundred bucks. It's not a lot, but you get to eat in the chow hall. You get you know you get the housing and you get the food and the clothing, right? So I supplemented my income bouncing and doing bodyguard because I'm a pretty big guy. You know mm -hmm. I can handle myself. And so then I just met some bouncer dudes and I had some cool military dudes and they're like, hey man, we should become a correctional officer because all you do is babysit and them dudes make like 100 Gs. They make, some of them make six figures, man, a year. Yeah. Correctional officers. And so I was like, yeah, man, so one of my homies got out of the military. He was a correctional officer. He's a lieutenant at uh, Solidad State Prison Level 4. I forget, it was Salinas Valley. So he gave us a tour and everything. I was like, man, I could do this shit, man. So... Me and my homies, it was eight of us, man. Like four of us was military, four of us was bouncers. We took the, the psychological test. We took the physical test. You know, I'm a physical guy. Mm -hmm. And then they did the background check. Back then, I was clean. So I was just waiting, you know, for the, the packet to come in, right? And because when I was going to get out, I was just going to be a correctional officer. So here's the funny story, man. As I'm going through the county jail, some of my homies that I was in the military oh, with, no, nah, they, they didn't get in trouble. Yeah. They're correctional officers. And they're looking at me like, oh, dog, what the fuck up? But they can't say that in front yeah, of me. Yeah, yeah, homies. yeah, they got to keep it, yeah. You know, but they play, hey, inmate, come over here. And they're just, hey, man, what the fuck wrong with you, man? <laughs> like, what, what happened to you, dude? Like, I heard you was a crack monster. Yeah, man. Damn, dude, you fucked up, bro. Hey, man, and this motherfucking man. Handle your business because it's mad in here. <laughs> no, they would give me advice, yeah, right? Yeah, straight up. Straight up advice. Like, this is what my one homie told me, Big Herc, when I went to New Folsom and he, you know, I walked in there. Because a couple of my homies, man, like, I'm not going to say any names, but I went to, like, I went to Tracy on the bus on my points drop. Before I went to Mule Creek, I went to Tracy and I went to Solid Deck because that's kind of like where I'm from. But my homies was correctional officers. They're receiving officers. They can reject you. Like, no, nah, he... And they tell the warden, I know this dude from the street. Yeah. Like, you, they can't have affiliation. Yeah, yeah, you can't have association, yeah. He could have been cool and been like, yeah. you know, but he, I mean, I got it. So then they rejected me. So that's how I ended up at Mule Creek. But I had one homie was like, when I was in San Quentin, he said, I'm going to tell you something, man. He said, when you walk through these walls here, man, you ain't going to never be the same. So you're either going to become stronger or you're going to become a victim. It's up to you, man. But you ain't, with the shit you're going to see in there, you ain't going to never be the same. So my homie, like, kind of put me up on it you know what I'm saying so the guards were just kind of weird man someone wouldn't let me go to the prison or someone that were sheriffs in the county jail they kind of took care of me not like babied me but they'd be like you know what I mean just handle your business watch your back you know but it, it was just they just let me know there's a zoo in there like there's no protection like we're not here to protect you it's just a zoo handling your business right and, and another thing too for people who like how you said that form 602 man uh you know some dudes be trying to drop kites at night you know they act like they're putting in mail but they're oh selling. yeah and they, you know dude <laughs> a lot of times the guards like they'll tell you know so and so dropping kites. Oh, oh definitely so you're thinking they're gonna help you nah that's gonna throw you out to the wolves yeah so next oh he dropping kites right yeah they're gonna they catch you slipping or i have to count as soon as that door open they're gonna run up in there yep so it ain't like they they're here protecting you or nah. gonna 
come and say, oh, Mr. Soames, so we got your 602 form. You can come with us. Yeah. We got another cell for you. Yeah. It don't work like that. Yeah. I can't say this, though. Like the military, uh, the regimentation and the training and the combatives and going on the excursion, it, it, it teaches you about violence. Like military violence is different. It's, it's, like, it's like prison. Like, if, like we were talking about this, man, off camera. Man, and this is the problem. I'm not going to say names, but this is the problem I got with people. So if, if you're a level one, level two prison, I think they're doing, still doing fisticuffs because nobody's got high enough points when they get caught. Because you get caught with a shank. I mean, you, not only are you getting an extra year, you're getting some points, right? That's right. That's right. But when you're talking level three, level four, a lot of them dudes ain't getting out anyway. They got a lot of time. And, and they're not doing fisticuffs. You homie, you disrespecting me? I'm hitting you in there. That's it. That's it. So it's a different level of, of, of aggression. Of serious, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I listen to these dudes on YouTube like, yeah, man, we're, we're putting fisticuffs up, man, and I just beat you down. I was like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what prison you've been to because where I came from, that's how, that's how I got this big hurt. Yeah. One of, the, one, of the, one of the dudes that shot his homie was there, and when I'm coming down the tier, he come and jumping out the tier, go to stab me. So when I parlayed it, the, the shank cut my hand. And I just took it and I stuck it in his face. I ain't trying to kill him because yeah. I'm not trying to get points. But ain't nobody fist to cuffing. Yeah. So these YouTubers are like, yeah, man, we just, we, we I beat him down and stuff, you know, and then I'm the man. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you, you know you're full of shit. Okay, man. And see, you're trying to blow that over on people who don't know. Yeah. But like people who've been through the system, come on, bro. Come on, man. It ain't happening. Like I told <laughs> USP Long Park back in the day, it's not no, ain't no, dude, they, dudes are getting stuck. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. walk by and, and, and the thing is, you know, I remember walking by a dude and he's bleeding out. Yeah, yeah. And he looked at me. Yeah. I kept walking. Right. I no, couldn't do nothing. No. on the wall. Yeah. You, you can't even. And I seen a dude afterwards and he looked at me and I looked at him. I couldn't help him. No, nah, man. Because me touching that, t saying anything. You I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm caught up. Thank you. I'm caught up. Yeah. I, I remember, I remember, you know, another time walking and seeing an inmate kissing on a guard. I act like I didn't see it. Right. I just kept, you know, kept playing it's my straight ahead, right? straight ahead. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. You cannot. It's like, you know, on the street, if I see somebody doing something to an old lady, or I would jump out and beat their well, ass. Well, that's different, but That's though. different. Yeah. But I'm saying in a prison, a dude is bleeding. I remember another time walking through the yard. You know how dudes try to go to work and come back so they don't have to get old. Yeah, yeah. Dude caught him in the yard during the past. He's trying to hope him get back to work. Stabbed him out. Yep. He bleeding out. And see, when you see that, you hurry, you hurry up. Because you're like, you're going to lock it down. So you go yeah, back yeah, to the yeah. shower. <laughs> yeah, you know what real I mean? quick. You try to get back, make something to eat in the microwave. You're like, fuck. You're going to lock it down. <laughs> How much time do I get? Lock it down. Lock it down. You're like, damn. I know. They found the body. Yeah. Yeah. It's serious. Yeah. So you ain't trying to, hey, officer. No. Man down. No. No. Dude. You're trying to, oh, man, hurry up. Yep. Get back to the unit. Yep. Get your food. Get, get your to the stuff. shower. Because yep. it's locking. Hey, man, let me get some soups. Yep. It's, it's going down. It's investigation time. So it, it ain't no happy go lucky, nah, kumbaya, nah. you know, Skip blah blah blah. Through the yard yeah. and stuff, man. And, 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 then, and then when dudes act like two, oh man, you know, I was on this yard, I, I got there, I raised my hand. You ain't raising nah, your hand, man. dude, because nah. there's some cold missions. Yeah, thank You're you. You're not raising yeah. your hand, man. Yeah. You ain't gonna never see daylight. If you raising your hand all the time, bro, you're a torpedo. You ain't never getting no, out, dude. No. Never. There's no, it's not happening. Yeah. You know, the dudes I know who are about there quiet. One dude, he's quiet. He's yeah. Like, he's told me Big Them Herc. Them was the scary ones. The, 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 the one dude, he, they like, he's like, yeah, Big Herc, um, when I get my points, well, I'm just going to escape. <laughs> oh, he's he's like, I'm trying to get somewhere I can escape. <laughs> this dude, the cold killer. I, I can look in his eyes. He's like, I didn't talk about his case. <laughs> but he's going to tell me. He's like, yeah, you know, I'll go out of town, handle my business and come back. You know, he was a hitter. He bring come in. You can tell he's one of them type of he's quiet. He's give me books and he's like, those books, when he give them to me, I make sure they're pristine when I give them back. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Every page. Yeah, don't put you no don't, coffee on hey, it. Hey, do not yeah. do not what do you call it? Um cripple it over. Oh, no, man. man. The book better come back exactly yeah. what I gave it to. This book is so much game. You read it and you got one night. You I get know, all bro, night. You read, yeah, it, yeah. It's like it's some government conspiracy yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You get it back. He's like, here you go. Here you go. There you go. You know what I mean? And but you, you're like those that information. You like you try to retain it. Take. I mean, dude, it was serious. You better not. If, 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 dude, they'd have porn books and they'd be numbered. Oh right. And if it, what's number fifty? What's number fifty-two? <laughs> dude, it's no, people, man. I'm telling you, man. Not they meticulous. It's man. meticulous and whole yeah. another level of rules. Yeah. But like you said, the killers. When they wouldn't raise their hand. The dude nah. was quiet. No, nah, he was man. quiet. And I remember one time somebody turned the TV and somebody did something. I just watched. I was seeing him go. Oh, yeah. Cell, they turned the TV. Quiet, oh, man. And the dude came down there and, dude, it was just a knife fight. Yeah. Right off the top. What? No. No so talking. No. Nah, yeah. man. Raising your hand. Come on, nah, man. Come on, Say man. that for somebody else, yeah, man. Somebody, yeah. I, 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 the, the hardest dude I've seen came to the yard five, 
maybe five, four, quiet, had glass look square. Yeah. Pat it up. Yeah. Straight. Pat it up. And, ooh, he played it off. Nobody, the dudes who knew who he was, but he didn't act like he was a shot caller. And then when, when it went down, dude, this dude was on some military type shit. They was like, they put plastic forks in the door so the police couldn't get in. And they turned the yard out. And, but he wasn't raising his hand. It wasn't none of that, man. So yeah. you guys, the false perceptions, yeah, man. don't get the game twisted. Yeah. You know, we seen it. It ain't. It's a yeah. whole nother level. Yeah, you'll whole never get level. out, man. No, man. Volunteer. You know, dude's going there. Dude, I, I, one dude, I remember, he's like, when he left that yard, he went to another yard. Dude, and they just they killed a couple of dudes, and that's it. Yeah. He ended up dying in prison. Wow. So it's not, dude, it ain't, you know, it's a totally different game, man. But uh, OG Silverback, man, man, you bring back a lot of memories, bro. And um, I'm glad we had an opportunity to chop yeah, it up, Yeah, Big bro. Herc. This man, I was, I've been looking forward to this, man, you know, because I watch your videos every day, man. <laughs> every day. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Hey, OG Silverback, Big Herc, fresh out.